Hello, and welcome to Tom Buckle Tea Talk. You're joined by me, John, and I'm joined by my good friend. You've gone red again, Kieran. Kieran. Yeah, yes, yeah, that sun. <laughs> I look really shiny. I don't know what it is. I think it's the sun shining in on me. Maybe I put the blind down. Okay, I'll keep this on. Yeah, as soon as the sun hits my skin, I just start sizzling. Yeah, Ginger different. problems. There we go. Is that better? <laughs> uh, we haven't done this for a while. We tried to, like... It's been... busy now. Yeah, so it's been not got hectic. <laughs> hectic. Yeah. Um, so, as always, usually it's a cup of tea, but I've gone with a beer today. Because I've been out in my garden and I'm hot. So I'm not having a cup of tea. And it's rosy. It's quite warm, isn't it? Can I tell you about my uh, drink? Just... Yeah, go on. Right. So Molly, my missus, said to me, I've ordered some drinks and some milk off a local milkman. <laughs> I went, what? Is that, is that sort of thing? She went, yeah. So a guy came with bottles of milk, fresh. And then she also got cream soda, Dylan Burdock, and some bread. Ah, I love and cream the, soda. Yeah, the bread is so soft and beautiful. So once we've had the bottles, we're gonna replace. We're gonna put them outside, and then he'll replace them. Yeah, so I remember one of my mates used to get it. He used to get like bottles of pop every week. Yes, and then, oh, they have, uh, milk, that's Dylan Burdock, but they had uh, milkshakes as well. Oh my oh, god, yeah. the milkshakes are so good. So yeah, I didn't know a milkman was still a thing. I thought it was like a, you know, a, a yeah, job we, that went out. I was getting milk delivered, and then I kept forgetting to pay for it, and they sent me a massive bill, and I was like, oh, I'll just buy it, it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> How much was your bill? I used to, uh, it wasn't even much, but they... It got to the point they got sick of asking me for it, and I was like, oh, I just forget, don't you? Um, I've got my beer, so um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I used to live in Spain, and um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to drink Heineken. But Heineken's quite good at the minute, because obviously the Euros is coming up, which is why you're wearing your England top. My, my Scotland top's coming. Um, but they do the, the flags so obviously Scotland's not been in a tournament for 22 years so we're actually on a bottle finally. hey look at that that's good that so, yeah they've got all different flags I've been given like eight England ones for some reason <laughs> um, we've got Finland as well there, I see but yeah oh, that's good that I might, I might so, get rid of them cheers I mean um, I, I'm tempted to keep the bottle because it's <laughs> you know, it's like a a thing yeah, because yeah. you know so let me tell you about my England shirt. Mm. Basically, when Beckham scored that sexy goal against Greece to put us in Wasn't the Wasn't it like finals, his 20th attempt or something, though? I don't it doesn't matter. Talks about it, but I remember watching the game. How many attempts did he have? <laughs> yeah, but, gets? yeah, but that, like, when it came to the moment, he stepped up and he did it. And, oh, like... I think the commentary like just adds to it as well, and uh, so this is my yeah, it's my Beckham shirt. What does it yeah. say? England versus who? Uh, Argentina. We won three 0 Ah, uh, that's two thousand and two. Yeah, I remember that World Cup because uh, obviously I was still in high school. Have I told this story before? So obviously I, I don't support England. I never have, like ever. Shocker. And I, <laughs> but I don't hate the fact. I just it's not that I, I'm not anti English. I just don't support England. I don't see why I should have to. I hate them because people, you know, people go, oh, you should support them. They're angry at Britain. Support them. I'm like, no, why? Why not support what Wales? But yeah, but why? What what difference does it make to you if I support you or not? Yeah. None. It's like then people go. Oh, you're not supporting Man United in Europe. They're against Germany. Do you remember we fought them in the war and you're like, no, I hate Man United. I want them to get beat. I don't care where they're playing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, not that I hate. I don't hate England, obviously, because I've lived there most of my life. I just never support the team. I've always been a Scotland team. And I remember okay. the, that, that World Cup, because we got, because uh, it was on in the morning, wasn't it? Because it was in Japan. 
and we got we got to go into uh, school late because you were playing Brazil, and it's the famous one where Ronaldinho scored that goal, and my mate was living at me because I'd been I've been saying like Brazil are like amazing. You know where you've been because I obviously got beat by Brazil, and he went. We used to walk to school. Mm. I'm waiting for him so because he was his way to school was on I was saving my door so I was waiting to save my door he just walked past me and then every lesson that day I got booed as I walked in the classroom and I was <laughs> like what have I done what have I done I've not even done anything yeah it was good it was a good World Cup that wasn't it what a team you had then yeah what a team but um, I remember watching that. That's probably last thing you had a decent keeper. We watched it in assembly. We watched the full game because it was on at like oh, 10 o'clock. You... Hmm. Oh, you had to go in? Well, no, but... Oh, we, like, were, we were a little... Because it was like a Tuesday or something, weren't it? Or, or something like that. So we yeah. went into school and they said you can watch the full match on this big... I say big TV, it would have been like a... It's not like a big TV now. You know, it was like a big TV in 2002. Mm. And I remember what... Was it on a trolley? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember going to school thinking, I'm watching football at school. This is amazing. And then, yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. Uh, how do you fancy your chances this time? Right, I'm I'm so <laughs> British. You know what I'm going to say? <laughs> this is probably our year. It has to be, surely. <laughs> so, um, the World Cup... Um, before like, you wait, before you go on, you slag like Liverpool fans off for saying it's our year every year. England fans have been saying it's their year since '66, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> so last World Cup, I thought if we're going to do it, this is going to be it because there was no mm. Italy. Um, Germany got knocked out. Um, all the big teams were like falling from grace, and I thought. I think this could be it. Um, and we was against Belgium, I think, was we? I think it may have been, yeah. Yeah. So it was, I was watching I Viva, right? And I was sat, me and was outside, and we scored like, quite early, and I was like, oh, and I jumped up, and, I, and the table was a bit wonky. So my drink went all over Molly. <laughs> went, are, you, are you joking? And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And then, um, basically, we lost that match. And I just remember thinking, oh, my God, like this, that was our best chance. All the big teams were out the, the World Cup. That was our chance. And mm. oh, I just wanted it so bad. Molly says I was crying, but I was not crying. I was just emotional. <laughs> I can imagine you probably were crying, to be fair. I, just, I, I, was just, I just wanted <laughs> I it so bad. That. And that, that, that was our perfect chance. Um on the flip side, probably one of the worst moments of my England football memories. I don't want to talk about it, but England against oh my god! It actually, I don't like talking. I don't like talking about it. England beats Iceland. <laughs> why? Why was that so bad? Well, we lost to Iceland. <laughs> Iceland's like, not a bad team. No, it's like the, the thing in the West, <laughs> everyone brings it up about Manchester City and, and Middlesbrough, where they beat us 6-1. Mm. It's like that. Yeah. And I remember thinking, like, and the, the commentary are like, um, the Icelandic what players... What is 9-0? I don't think it's 6-1, no. I think it was 9-0. Well, what, it's, anyway, <laughs> Iceland and... Um, Commentary were like, yeah, some of them, um, this is their part-time job. Some of them, they're a full-time mm. builder. And they were saying how Mate. small the country is. And I was like, all right, we get the picture. You're it was talking just... to me. We've been beat by, like, the Faroe Islands, who some of them couldn't play because they couldn't get time off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, on the flip side, like, me as a Scotland fan, I'm just happy to be there because I've been waiting this long for it. Like... You know, but France Day was like, I remember it. And, you know, we did that to play quite well, but we just couldn't win games. No, um, is it? Last... However, as well, I was in, so I was in Spain when Spain won the World Cup. And that was like amazing to be in the country, mm. to be in the country of 
the country that wins the World Cup is just unreal. Like, there was fireworks was, going off in the street. And... I was in Benidorm ben- when Spain ben- won the Euros. Fair, isn't it? Yeah, so I was, in Spain, I was in Spain when I was in Spain when uh, they won the Euros, mm. and there was fireworks going off. There's people jumping on the cars. It was mad. Yeah, it was cool. So, like Mag- Magaluf's Magaluf Strip was full of Spanish people, which is not that common because it's obviously all British bars. But literally, everybody was out in the streets just celebrating. Mm. It was great. It was amazing. Yeah. Wait, so we're in the same group. <laughs> are you going to do us a favour? Are we going to do you a favour? What do you think? Could we, God, we've, we've got a tough group though, haven't we? Because Croatia's in our group as well. Yeah, so Czech Republic as well. So in our group is England, Scotland, Czech Republic and Croatia. Mm. Out of that, Croatia's going to progress. And I think England. <laughs> oh, cheers. Sorry, um, but Croatia are actually, uh, you know, a pretty good team. So, Czech Republic are as well. They can be quite handy. Yeah. And Scotland are... I don't know. Scotland are playing really well. Like, we drew with Holland and they scored in the last minute to draw. Like, we nearly beat Holland. I know it's only friendlies and that, but... Yeah, we are playing quite, and you know, we have got one of the best players in the Premiership at the minute. Well, the thing is about football is, it's so unpredictable. Mm. So listen, you never know. Hopefully, I mean, I just want us to play well. I'd, I'd like to get a knockout because I'm not. I don't think I've ever seen Scotland in a knockout. Because I think once you get to knockouts. Luck can be on your side a little bit. Yeah. Like, do you remember when Greece won it? Like, no one would have predicted that. Mm. Um, but we'll see. Who who's on, who do you reckon is going to win it this year? Mm. I mean. <laughs> You'd never rule out Germany, do you? I don't think Germany will do it. I am going to go with... France have got a decent squad as well. Yeah, I was going to say France. They are looking pretty good. Mm. I think Belgium will do well. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think Belgium will win. Mm. I think France are the favourites as well. England are 5-1. Think... to one. Netherlands, I've got a good squad as well. I mean, I mean, they won it. This is a couple of years back. Didn't they? I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any easy teams anymore. It's not like it used to be where it'd be like, oh, you've got them and this. And I think because yeah. well, a lot of the players play everywhere now, don't they? Look at um, our friend against Romania. I thought that'd be quite easy, but we won one 0 from the penalty. Hmm. You know what I mean? If we can't beat Romania 7-0, I want to beat Germany 1-0. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, yeah. And that's However... Just a bit of friendlies. It's how you... How, how do you think players approach friendlies, really? Are they bothered or are they just doing a bit... Well, sh- is it just to have a run around? I don't they really treat that like a, I'll treat it like a real game. Yeah, but they don't. Well, then they're sh- stupid, aren't they? <laughs> um, can we just talk about Phil Folding? If you want. I mean, he's won um, Young Player of the you know Lung- Young Player Award. Yeah. Um, he's just it's just incredible. Um, I think if he plays well, like he has been doing at the Euros. I mean, we, we could see some some really worldly I mean, goals. I'm always worried when they're so young because they end up burning out. If you look at the young players you've had, they end up burning out to them. So as long as they don't... Well, if they take as, care long as, he, as long as he doesn't burn out 
before the final of the Euros, I'm not that bothered. <laughs> um, yeah. And as well, I mean, we'll just have to see, won't we? This is a bit cliche, I know, right? Everything, but do you remember the last year of old, the last World Cup? Sorry, it was prime summer, everyone was in a good mood, COVID wasn't a thing, like it was just hot, everyone was mm -hmm. just, you know, everyone's going out drinking, watching the World Cup. It was magical, it was a beautiful summer, and that summer was really, really hot, fantastic, couldn't get any better. Then the world went to piss, right? Now we're back <laughs> at the Euros. This is just what England needs. Imagine if we won the Euros. <laughs> what a lift that would... Even if Scotland oh, did well, God. and want Scotland to do well, <laughs> that would lift, you know, the Scottish islands. But imagine if England won. What a, like, what a high the country I mean, would be we're, on. You've got to remember Wales are in it as well. Wales, Wales, Wales did all right, didn't they? Well. In the World Cup. They've got, they've got good players, Wales. Yeah. I think... She, I'm, I'm not trying to be negative of England. I think where they struggle what? in life is that, obviously, because they all play in the Premier League, don't they? And they're all, obviously, it's such a competitive league. They're used, there's, so they must have clicks in the camp. They're not very good at gelling together and being like, we're England, let's do this for England. They're kind of... I always feel like you watch England and you're just thinking, a lot of them are thinking, if I do well in this, then I could get signed by a big team. Possibly, I would have said that in the, probably in the past, maybe. But uh, Gareth Southgate has had some kind of transformation on England that I've not really seen in the last couple of years. Mm. Um, Gareth Southgate is... Uh, I mean, he, he is really good at the England job. He's probably the best England manager we've had in a long, long time. Yeah. Um, and I like Scotland's manager to be fair yeah you know he, he used to be at Liverpool right. and he, he was quite Steve Clark. he was quite a he was the like assistant to the manager he's quite good what's the England's have you got a theme song no do you know what I don't know what happens to a theme song because there used to be a theme song every tournament now it doesn't really seem to happen yeah I always one like a thing like it had to be out like I mean yeah. your official theme song. Have you not done that this year? So I mean Scotland has some shocking. Just right. So talking about Scotland, the when we we're in the World Cup, do you know what our theme song was called? Go on. And I had it on single. Don't come home too soon. <laughs> it was shocking. Oh, no. It was really slow. It's not exactly something people can sing in the stadium. Do you know what I mean? It was shocking. Yeah. What it's was by Delamitri. That's it. There's a music. There's a music video, and it was filmed on top of a London bus, and it looked like it looked like we filmed it, right? <laughs> it, like it wasn't good, mm -hmm. and um, and it was um, come on Eileen, but come on England, come on England. God. Yeah, it was just it was just a, a poorly. There's like some you know Dave and his friends was filming it around uh, around London, and. <laughs> I mean, you've well, had some good ones. Yeah. I mean, Anthony Three Lions Day. is obviously, like, the yeah. best ones. On the ball, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vindaloo. One with Desi Rascal and James, James Cornyn. Yeah. Vindaloo was a good oh, one. I love Vindaloo. <laughs> I like the video for that. It's yeah. Fun. Um, One of my favourite uh, songs, yeah. not, not necessarily England, but... I think it was World Cup a few years ago. Shakira. Waka, waka, hey, hey. Mm. It's a good song, though, <laughs> isn't it? See, I, I like that. That was a good World Cup as well. I do. Yeah. Like, I've always enjoyed watching the World Cup, even though Scotland's not been in it. So I, just but, I, I, I usually would have been supporting Spain. That was the year of the, what they called? Oh, the... Yeah. Move his Ellis. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, horrible sound. So far from go that was. You had um, J Jason Derulo recently uh, with Waving uh, Flag. Yeah. And then... da, 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 da. Just like a waving flag. <laughs> I said flag. No. <laughs> um, right. So. What else have you been up to? Did you watch The Masked Dancer? 
No, I've not even seen it. I'm not even, ca uh, not even caught up in Corey. That's how busy oh. I've been. Times are hard when you've not watched honestly. Corey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, I'm like four episodes. Like, yeah, it's just ridiculous. And tonight, uh, five episodes. In that. Oh, I mean, uh, oh, for God's sake. I um, made my first trip back to the cinema over the weekend. I went twice. Okay. Which is pretty good. It's a bit weird though going to cinema. So, um, because I've got limitless, so you can go as many times you like. So, I went twice. Um, <laughs> so me and Freya went. Um, I won't get into that, but so basically, when you book a seat, the two seats next to you have got to be empty, which I think is great. Yeah. Because I hate when people are sitting next to you. I want to see The Quiet Place too. Have you ever seen Quiet Place? I don't think so. Oh, you'll know if you see it. It's a it's good film. So it's basically most of the films in silence. Because you've got to be uh, quiet because of these monsters. It's really good. I'm going to be honest. That and then... Why? I hate the cinema. Why? I absolutely hate it. For what reason? One, it's expensive. It's right? not. The, well, I used to go on that when it it's was... It's a uh, fiver. The origin of Blackpool is a fiver a ticket. Yeah, but it doesn't stop there though, does it? A fiver. Your Chris, your popcorn. Next, you spent 25 effing pound. You don't have to buy them though. You can bring your own in. I remember when it was uh, two for one in orange... And it's like three pound a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, so uh, the food is expensive, right? And the cinema has the most loudest food and drinks known to man. Popcorn, <laughs> sweet, <laughs> a slurpy drink. <laughs> and then uh, what I noticed with go on. Go on. Well no, you, then no, you get people on. in the cinema who just who starts talking and going, What's he from? I recognize him. What's happening? <laughs> like, shut up. I just hate the cinema. I hate everything see, about it. You're so silly. I love the cinema. We oh, yeah. see Cruella as well. That was the other film. That oh, was yeah. Good. It was like a prequel to 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I like the cinema. I like that. Because I think when you watch films at home, there's that temptation to go on your phone. And, yeah. And not really. And then you miss half the film and you're like, oh, what, what's happening? Who see, died then? Where if you're in a cinema, you don't do that. See, if um, you know, the only way I go to cinema if it was like really late at night or like during school, like when we're kids at school, because then I know there's not many people, there's not many kids <laughs> running around. <laughs> and oh God, what I was watching with uh, Emily, I think it was on the new Toy Stories. And all these kids running up the out the uh, like the hallway. Oh, I hate it when. And I yeah, was like, I hey, come here, them. come here. <laughs> I was like, honestly, I was like, I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> and then I was watching another film. I was watching um, Zoolander 2. Awful film, awful. Uh, and then these, these kids, you, like, you, behind me, I could see them. really bad films to see. Yeah. There was this kid, and they're like, they were on the phone because their face was like lighting up. And they had to inform popcorn at each other. Yeah. Then, then I could hear them kissing, and I was like, oh my <laughs> God, just go away. Yeah. Such a granddad. No, no. No. If I go to the cinema, I want to watch a film in peace. I remember I went to see Ted in the cinema, and yeah. there was a guy sitting behind me, and every joke in Ted. Now, have you seen Ted? Yeah, I've seen Ted. Yeah, Ted. yeah. Great film. Right. There's a lot. There's a lot of jokes in Ted. Yeah, yeah. So imagine after every joke, you hear someone behind you laughing, going, ha, 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 ah, owned, <laughs> absolutely owned. Honestly, oh I won't film it. Ruined it for me. I've never watched it again. I... Because all I can... Honestly, every time there was a joke, he was saying owned behind me in a proper yeah. black black accent. <laughs> absolutely owned. That's why I can't... That's why I hate terrible. Summer. If I knew <laughs> that the cinema was going to be completely empty, I'd go every time. Well, at the minute, it is here, so maybe you should go. Maybe I should. 
Yeah. I want to watch the and new Mark Combat film. The disco as well, mate. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch the new Mark Combat <laughs> film. Uh, it's not maybe. It's meant to be a bit naff, isn't it? I like the first one. It annoys me that you don't like the Avenger films. It's You're just missing out. It's just there's so many like so when Spider Man first came out, amazing, loved it. The first X Men, loved it, and then within about six months, there's about fifty two Marvel films, and I was like, oh, are you taking the piss now? There's so Let's many Marvel think about films. It. The comic, the comic book films, yeah. Now when you read comics, they bring comics out all the time. What's your problem? To be fair, one, uh, of, my favorite, uh, one of my favourite Marvel films... Uh, I love it. This might shock you, but one of my favourite Marvel films is The Punisher. Because the opening 20 minutes is unbelievable. Like, what a way to start mm. a film. And it's got Kevin Nash in it. It's a bit dark, though. Yeah, I like it. I really, I'm <laughs> saying, Punisher is a fantastic film. Um, Daredevil... People don't like Daredevil, but I, I quite like it. Got a good soundtrack as well. I quite... I, did you watch Electra? That was terrible. Yeah. I thought it was okay. It was okay. It just wasn't... I've not watched uh, The Green Lantern, but I've, um, I've heard that's really Do you know bad. what I watched? Do you know what I watched the other day? And it's a Marvel film, technically. It's the first Marvel film, I think. Uh, Blade. Great film. Oh, that is Marvel, isn't it? I do like Blade. Mm. Yeah, I like Blade. I, I'm sure I've read that that film saved Marvel because they were going to go bust. And the money making Blade actually kept them afloat. Um, yeah, Blade great, 3. Great film. Triple H is in it. I find it weird though, we were watching it. Blade 3, which I'm about to talk about. So Wesley Snape fell out with the director and kept refusing to film scenes. So a lot of it is him digitalised because he refused to film the scene. Brilliant. I like Wesley Snipes in, uh, in Demolition Man. Have you seen that? Did you know that? It's a good bit of film of him. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. You know, going back to England and the, and the Euros... Who are you putting your money on? With what? Who do you think is going to win the Euros? I already said that now. In fact, hold on, give me one second. I'm going to look at all the teams and I'm going to declare what team. John, who do you think is going to win the Euros? Portugal. Portugal. Okay. <laughs> I am going to go... I was going to go a bit of an outsider, so I'm going to go Denmark. But... I am going to go with Spain. Spain? Nah. Spain. I was looking at the table, Spain. and Germany and France are both in the same group. And I was just trying to mm. look at all the teams, and I think... Yeah, I'm going to go with Spain. But do you think England will get? How far do I think England will get? I think they'll get to the semis. Yeah. Deep in the quarters. Hmm? I think it'll be quarters. Well, don't do that. Don't do that to me, John. I think, anyway, no, no, in fact, no, they're going to win it. They're going to win it, all right? They're going to win it. <laughs> okay. So you're going to go... Uh, you're going I Germany. Man, you're going Germany. Portugal. Oh, it, oh, Portugal. You said Portugal, didn't you? Portugal or 
Netherlands. No, no. Who, no, who do you think's going to win? I need your answer. Portugal or the Netherlands? No, no, no. I need one. No. You're going to go to the Netherlands? Yeah. Okay. It's hard. I won't, you won't know until you see them playing the first game. Yeah. Well, I'll put that on social media. Did you see the departures this week from WWE? Uh, yeah, my phone kind of blew up um, about it, really. Big one on? is, the big one is obviously Braun Strowman. However, the more you think about it, you can kind of see why. Because, you know, it's sort of gimmick as that he's the biggest guy there, but when you suddenly get someone bigger, what's his gimmick? Yeah, but it was like Kane. There was always people bigger than him or like same size as him. Yeah, but he was never cast as like a giant. I think Braun Strowman they cut that one. There. I'm a bit surprised at Ruby Riot. That was the one I was yeah. like, why? I quite liked Ruby yeah. Riot. Um, and Alistair Black, another one that was kind of like. Why? Alistair Black, it seems like they had no idea what to do with him and they just, just gave up. No. Braun Strowman. Uh, that baffled me when I seen that I kind of thought it was a joke and then um, obviously reading up about it I was like oh why but I, apparently it's his salary was too high as well but his well, salary he... was a quarter of a million which isn't a lot in WWE standards yeah he will be busy though a lot of people will want to work with him yeah I mean you can't just think they're all going to go to AEW, but AEW won't, is going to end up running out of space. Yeah. Um, so we'll just have to see, keep an eye on that. Um, I mean, we're kind of looking forward to SummerSlam now, aren't we? I know it's a couple of months away. Got where you got Hannah on the selfish, haven't you? Yeah. Ah, uh, quite like that. Um, Nikki Cross against Charlotte Flair at Hell in a Cell would be quite interesting. N Nikki Cross is really, I really like her. Yeah, I want to get a bit of a push. Um, now, but we'll see. the last pay per view was Roman Reigns and Cesaro, which was a quality match. It was so good. Mm. I'm hoping Cesaro gets a push. Is it going to yeah. be Cesaro and Roman Reigns in the in the main event at SummerSlam well the the saying it may be Roman Reigns against John Cena yeah I heard that but I, I don't I don't see it happening no however it depends on the way to look at it I mean have we been on since the zombie thing yeah we did a we did T-talk after it didn't we yeah so John Cena's in the next Suicide Squad which will wow. be out fairly soon and so he's in the new Fast and Furious stuff. yeah I've seen the trailer for that um, so he will be one of the sort of advertised things so it's possible right. he'll be on okay. some yeah. Um should he have, I mean I don't know they need to I think WWE at the minute, they're not, they don't seem to be making anybody superstars, do they? They just seem to be getting all the old ones back. Yeah. They're kind of struggling. No I one's mean, I'm still waiting. Strange. I'm still waiting for The Rock to come back and take the head of the table, you know, that kind of storyline. But because it seems obvious, that's the obvious thing to do, but it just isn't. It doesn't yeah. Just like, I think Rock's too busy, you know. <laughs> yeah, but well, WWE's passion, like that's where he started. You know, it would, it would come back if you got asked. Mm. Oh, I think he'll, he'll always come back when asked, but mm. he's got he's got a lot of stuff on, hasn't he? What have you got planned this week? Apart from work? Um, work, sleep, work, work and sleep. 
Fair enough. I'm digging so up a garden. The, the other day I did, um, I did a 14 hour shift and um, oh, God, it was so busy. I just, yeah. I just didn't stop. Mad, didn't it? I'm like Tom Cruise in that film cocktail. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's what you've been waiting on. You've been off for how long? Yeah, it feels like I've never been away, honestly. It's a, it's a thing, though, isn't it? Like, it's one extreme to the next. It's like literally not really doing anything. And sitting, having a whiskey, cigar, dressing gown. And then the next minute, you just non stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I mean, we're, I think we're slowly getting back to normal. Hopefully, we do it for the for the Euros. But, you know, obviously. Well, let's tell see you what, what I watched on the twenty first of June. That's that. Like, do you know what I watched for the first time since I was like a kid? The Eurovision Song Contest. And <laughs> yeah, it was. I love it. I, I was, I was actually quite impressed. I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, this is really good. Like we were terrible. It's just bonkers, the, guy we, isn't it? the guy we yeah. sent couldn't sing live. Which I'm not surprised what is it. Everyone's like, oh, it's political. We don't get any points, it's political. No, we get zero points because we send shit over. Why are we sending rubbish? <laughs> get like Lewis Capaldi on or something. We'll get some points. You're sending somebody that can't even sing. <laughs> it's mad. But there was yeah. some there was some like there was it was good. I enjoyed it. Surprisingly. I don't know if I'd watch yeah, it every year. I love watching. They just, I do because the countries they're just bonkers. Like all these different costumes and songs, and it just mm. it's just mad. Yeah, it was it's like really X-Factor good. On steroids and drugs. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. But so uh, we can do another tea talk next week. Yeah. Well, next thing we do, we should have played a game by then. And we'll see, yeah, see what you see how optimistic you are then. <laughs> we'll see. So see how, you'll see how recap. optimistic I am. <laughs> yeah. Just to recap for the Euros, you're you're gonna bet on uh you think that uh Potts are going are gonna win the Euros. I've put my money on Spain. You put your money in Spain? I think Spain, no. I, I don't know, you know. Squad. Like I said, maybe ask me after I've seen everyone play. Yeah. And we'll see. I think I think Scotland's going to qualify from the group. I just want to that either. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. Should we leave it there then on that cliffhanger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time I will have a Scotland top on, hopefully. Yeah. We'll still see. Uh, yeah, so... If you want to watch our other videos, I did another unboxing video. I don't know if He's you can good. see my uh, yeah. Jake the Snake. He's up there a bit. Can you see him? Mm. Yeah. It's quite cool. Like, I used to love Jake the Snake. Yeah, yeah. Um, wrestling figures. That was one of the wrestling figures I had was the Jake the Snake one. It was really weird. He had like two of his legs joined together and he was like, jump. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you got a snake. I don't remember a snake being with it. There you go. Um, interestingly enough with Jake Snake as well the Dark Side of the Ring have done an episode on his family which is quite interesting mm. um, yeah so we got that I don't know what I've done with the rest of the stuff we got but yeah there's some cool stuff it's quite, I, I love unboxing videos so if you like unboxing videos try and watch me try and work out what I'm unboxing yeah it's good um, but yeah uh, there's loads of interviews I mean, we went to RP Davis's gym and stuff like that. See Kieran getting hit in the face. Always worth it. Yeah, watch. so RP um, Davis was like, if, it's gonna, <laughs> if you can hit me, you've done well. So I really tried to go for him and he, he just hit me square in the nose. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's throbbing. Um, yeah, so. But yeah, uh, I think we will get an episode up soon enough. We're kind of just working out what to do. And plus, Kieran's quite busy at the minute. Um, yeah. so we'll see I, I've got we did film like carpool sort of karaoke style video and I've got to try and work out what to do with all the footage there's a lot um, of footage there's some really good footage of Kieran rapping which is definitely mm. going to be on it so keep your 
Yeah. Eyes peeled for that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just want to apologize. Uh, <laughs> Um, so yeah, give us a like, a subscribe, tell your friends, tell your grannies. Blackpool's okay. number one turn- uh, wrestling podcast. Mm. Uh, we'll see you next week where hopefully Scotland's won again. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, we'll see you then. See ya.